The record of the Neanderthals is truly remarkable. Numerous sites preserve the remnants of these individuals who were once our closest relatives, enabling archaeologists and anthropologists to recreate and reconstruct their activities across millennia. One thing is clear from these reconstructions, the Neanderthals were skilled toolmakers. This fascinating species crafted and utilized a sophisticated array of ancient tools, including spears, scrapers, and saws, which they made from stone and various perishable materials, such as wood. While Neanderthal tools were once considered basic and crude, scientists are now emphasizing a new perspective. These tools were as innovative and significant as those created by Homo sapiens. When European archaeologists and anthropologists first stumbled upon Neanderthal fossils nearly two centuries ago, they did not realize they had uncovered a distinct species. Initially, they thought they had found some of the oldest Homo sapiens specimens in Europe. It took years for them to understand that these remains represented our most closely related ancient relatives. Named Homo neanderthalensis after the Neander Valley sites where some of the specimens were first discovered, the species' skull shape, low and long, and body build, short and stocky, were initially seen as evidence that Neanderthals were neither intelligent nor innovative. Despite some of these early fossils being found alongside caches of stone tools, Neanderthals were quickly labelled as a species of brutes. In reality, the Neanderthals' unique anatomy enabled them to survive the harshest conditions of the Ice Age in Europe. Genetic evidence has shown that interbreeding with Neanderthals helped Homo sapiens cope with European climate. Alongside this resilience was a range of adaptive behaviours that made these individuals far more advanced than their discoverers were likely willing to acknowledge. From their origin around 400,000 years ago to their disappearance around 40,000 years ago, the Neanderthals led somewhat solitary lives, forming small, itinerant tribes consisting of 12 to 25 individuals. However, recent studies suggest they may have also gathered in much larger groups. These tribes rarely stayed in one place, migrating between various sites according to the seasons and occasionally returning to the same settlements over centuries. Despite their itinerant nature, these tribes were not entirely isolated. They sometimes encountered other groups of 10 to 20 individuals with whom they shared social identities and skill sets. One of the most crucial skill sets for these individuals involved the crafting of ancient tools. Almost from the beginning of their existence, Neanderthals focused on creating sophisticated stone flakes with flat faces, thin, sharp edges, ideal for cutting, carving, and scraping. To produce these flakes, Neanderthals selected small chunks of stone, known as cores, and trimmed their sides until they resembled a tortoise shell, flat on one side and spherical on the other. They then struck the top of the trimmed stone with a single blow, producing flakes of a uniform shape and size, which they used as tools. Neanderthals developed various versions of this prepared core technique across different regions and periods, influenced by their needs, skills, access to suitable stones, and social interactions, as these techniques were socially transmitted and shared. Each distinct approach yielded a particular shape and size of flake, optimized for specific purposes. Some studies suggest that Neanderthals created up to 60 different forms of flakes, each designed for specific functions. While they used some of these tools without further modification, they also refined many others into more sophisticated, specialized implements, such as points, scrapers, saws, and awls. In their final years, Neanderthals even crafted flakes large enough to be made into blades. Neanderthals utilized these tools for various tasks, including slaughtering animals, working wood and other malleable materials, and preparing and punching holes in hides, which they then tied together 
to create clothing. Although their strong, skilled hands allowed them to handle these implements effectively, Neanderthals eventually hafted their tools to make them easier to use, attaching them to handles and securing them with ties and adhesives like birch tar, which they formulated from the bark of birch trees. Today, archaeologists can determine the uses of Neanderthal tools by examining their shape, size, and wear patterns. Tools discovered at Neanderthal sites exhibit distinctive scratches, with those used for shaping stone showing different types of damage compared to those used for molding other materials or slicing meat. However, some scientists emphasize that many Neanderthal tools were not well preserved. While archaeologists have uncovered a plethora of stone tools, they have found far fewer implements made from more fragile or perishable materials. Despite this, the discovery of wooden spears and bone lissoirs indicates that Neanderthals also worked with these materials. The ages of many artifacts suggest that Neanderthals developed their tool making ideas independently. However, some scientists believe that Homo neanderthalensis and Homo sapiens might have shared tool-making strategies during periods of population overlap. Although the two species created similar tools for thousands of years before these overlaps, one study suggests that nearly 3,000 years of cohabitation in France and Spain could have involved the exchange of ideas. This exchange might explain the striking similarities in the material cultures of the two species in these regions. On the other hand, several tools from that era are considered specialties of Homo sapiens, including various forms of fibre and weapon technology. In addition to bows and arrows, Homo sapiens created needles from bone and antler around 60,000 years ago, which allowed for the production of warmer, tighter-fitting clothing. There is no evidence, however, that Neanderthals developed similar technologies before their extinction. Nevertheless, archaeologists continue to uncover surprising new traces of Neanderthal technologies, highlighting the importance of ongoing research in this field. Some studies suggest that Neanderthals did experiment with projectile weaponry, as evidenced by signs of throwing trauma on their skeletons and the aerodynamic shape and size of their spears. Additionally, some scientists believe Neanderthals were skilled at twisting fibers together, creating the world's first forms of string. Early examples of cordage suggest a potentially more advanced fiber industry, which could have included the production of fabrics, bags, baskets, and nets. Now that their advanced tool-making abilities are well documented, the traditional theory that Neanderthals disappeared due to the technological superiority of Homo sapiens is no longer tenable. Instead, scientists emphasize that a combination of factors, including climate change, disease, and demographic weakness, alongside interspecies competition and assimilation, likely led to the extinction of Neanderthals around 40,000 years ago. Overall, archaeologists and anthropologists are moving away from the outdated notion that Neanderthals were a dim-witted species, stumbling through life without sophisticated, specialized tools. They had advanced tool technologies, including the Mosterian tool culture, characterized by flake tools crafted through precise, napping techniques. Examples of their tools include hand axes, scrapers, and spears, which they used for hunting and processing animal hides. Neanderthals also demonstrated complex behaviors such as burial rituals, symbolic use of pigments, and the creation of ornaments, indicating a rich, cognitive, and cultural life. These capabilities show that Neanderthals were innovative and adapted well to their environments. As their discoveries continue to reveal the complexity and sophistication of Neanderthal tools and tool-making strategies, they have come to recognize Neanderthals as one of the most advanced and capable species in the human lineage. 
Please like, subscribe and share for more such videos. Thanks for watching and your support to channel.